And the winner is... Presidential School in Tashkent! It was actually very amazing to hear uh, ourselves as a winners and like we had, you know, the, we had adrenaline, like adrenaline hit and then it was the, one of the best moments in life, I can say surely. We received a prize at the start of the week, so that week was super amazing because we had very good mood as we won the prize. Pahlawan and Asilvik, they are very active students. They are always keen on making new things. They are always keen on helping the community. They always come to me with their brilliant ideas to help people in Tashkent and Uzbekistan. As you know, our country is, is located in the, the place where is far from the oceans and water. So this project is about collecting rainwater filtering it and giving them the people who do not have the access to uh, clean water, drinkable water. When our students were awarded by Sheikh bin Zayed Al Nahyan, we are really proud of our students and our students were very happy. We came up with this idea when we were uh, when we were you know outside of the school. We were all just like walking, and then it was raining, so we had an idea like the white trains, and then like we can't use it for for some useful things. So it was the first point when we you know came up with the idea, and then after this uh, uh, we you know kind of tried to make some plans, to take some you know steps like uh, of how can we you know the implement the project in Uzbekistan. And then, uh, like after we heard that there is like a prize, a sustainability prize, uh, we like first researched about it, like uh, what requirements uh, are there, and then after that we had like plans, so how we do it, and yes, I guess uh, after the plans, like we worked on it uh, each day, and, uh, like till the deadline, uh, and then uh, we we have a last step left, which is implementing the project. When we work on a project, we try our best to make it sustainable so it will not harm our own planet, our mother planet. It should be cultural, so it will be um, based on the place that project is going to be held. For example, our filtration system have been adapted to the uh, nature of Kashkadaria, and uh, we try to help people as much as we can by our project. So our vision uh, is to change is to uh, is to change the use of Uzbekistan. Uh, we are actually working on our project. Uh, it's it's a secret. So what kind of project is it? But the thing is like it can impact the whole uh, youth of Uzbekistan, and we want to we want to make a contribution with uh, like including all the region of, regions of Uzbekistan, uh, like all the students from rural or urban areas. It doesn't matter, and we want to do many more projects uh, like this, and we want to you know co like combine all the ideas and do something uh, impactful in 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 our country and in the world in the future. Our school is presidential school in Tashkent and our school has been made by our president trying to make the future leaders of Uzbekistan. We do study like big range of subjects like economics, business, biology, chemistry, math, computer science. For example, my options are biology and chemistry because in future I want to become a biotechnologist. We have a Cambridge curriculum, so like we have a variety of topics we can choose from. Yeah, it's actually the Cambridge, uh, like Cambridge schools subjects. And myself, uh, I study economics, uh, physics, because like I want to be economist in the future, but also I want to make some innovation. And so I just uh, you know take one of the social sciences and one of the STEM subjects, which is physics and economics. The most important thing is to start. It doesn't matter where you start, but like if you start early, which means that you have more time to develop, to you know, to work on more projects. So which means uh, you, you you may be successful in the future. <laughs>